Welcome back. I know you've taken a peek at a video or two explaining merge sort. I actually want to do it looking at the code. Um, I'll start off just by showing you this nice picture. Hopefully this picture strikes it with you to go, yeah, this is a good representation about what merge sort is doing. You'll see here our original list sort of being divided into two sections. And you keep dividing them into two until you get down to single numbers. The single number is the key here. As weird as it sounds, a single value is a sorted list, right? It's one number. It has to be sorted. And that's sort of the key here, whoever figured this out. Once you get down to single number lists, well, merge those two. And that's where you use the merge routine that you guys wrote. And it merges them, 2738. Now, assuming your recursion is set up to do this with the other half of the list, then what you get is you get a neighboring two numbers that also get merged. Now you got sorted list, sorted list. Well, why don't you tell that section to merge itself? And it merges. And of course, this is happening on the other side too, and everything comes together to give you your sorted list. Now, how does this translate into code? Not too tricky code. Um, it's actually probably easier than you would think it is to get something like this to happen. So here's our actual merge sort algorithm. And of course, you have to have merge coded. That's a big part of it. <clears throat> so you'll see here I take an array, a temporary, the left point, and the right point. Now, let's assume that I have a list. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. That's my array. Okay, It has seven index positions in it. Index 0 to index 6. All right, I've purposely put it backwards. If I wanted to sort this list with this little routine here, let's just follow along what the routine says to do. Well, I would have to make this call first. Merge sort. A, my array. Temp, a temporary array of the same size. And I want it to sort from slot 0 to slot 6. Now just let's follow the instructions here. The instructions say if left is less than right, it is. All right, 0 is less than 6. Find a midpoint, 3. Merge sort the left half. Merge sort the right half. And when you're all done, merge. Now I'm just going to make this shorthand here, but merge sort the left half. I'm going to merge sort from 0 to 3. Okay, I'm also leaving out the A and the temporary, right? That's always going to be the same. Then I want to merge sort from 4 to 6. Then when that's all done, I want to merge from 0 to 6. That's exactly what this code here would basically be spitting out. All right? Sort the left half, sort the right half. Now that they're both sorted, merge them. And you finish that. The job is done. So that's the very first call to merge sort the instructions given to the computer. But you know that that line there is recursive. What does it say to do? Well, it'll say left and right are still apart. So merge sort 0 to 1, merge sort 2 to 3, merge 0 to 3. All right, that's that call. This one down here is going to say merge sort 4 to 5, merge sort 6 to 6, merge 4 to 6. So you can see here, well, Merge sort 0 to 1, that's not done. That's going to do recursion. That's going to ask to merge sort 0 to 0, merge sort 1 to 1, and then merge 0 to 1. Now, here's the nice thing. Merge sort 0, 0 is left less than right. Nope. That's a single digit. Nothing's done. That's our base case where the recursion ends. And so if nothing's done, that's a sorted number. This one's a single number. Nothing's done. Merge. So that would merge the first two single items in slot 0 and 1. If you related this to our picture, that's this being broken down, broken down, broken down. We're right here. Those two numbers get to be merged. Now at the same time, you can see here there's a lot of calls. This one has to do its recursion. Merge sort, 2 to 2. Merge sort, 3 to 3. Merge, 2 to 3. 
Same idea, we're finally down to one and one, they get merged together. Now this is all sorted, this is all sorted, now you can merge zero to three. So what you've done here is you've just sorted the first half of the list. Now I won't do it with the right half here, I'll just do a quick fast forward in time. And you get something like that. And when the right half of the list is eventually sorted, then you merge from 0 to 6. And it all gets merged out. Beautiful, right? And that's basically how merge sort works. Now this routine, okay, every year with students, gives them a bit of grief. Uh, this idea of all this recursion and so many parameters and numbers, what I recommend you do, and you'll see in our little practice sheet, is I'll give you a very short array and say, go for it. Basically, do something just like this for that and see what the calls are and where it goes. Thanks for watching. Uh, if this didn't help, lots of other videos on YouTube. Keep watching until you, uh, you can figure this out. Okay, tricky one.